Hello, guys. Uh, based on African motives, uh, still on electrical trade theory. Uh, N2, working on alternating current. Uh, second theory in this case, we've got uh, the question, which was uh, from November 2022 uh, exams. We are given the first part of the question in this case uh, on a part of explanation that is 1.1 to explain the following terms. So the first part that we are given is to explain self-induced EMF, which is uh, two marks. All right. So what do we have in this case? If you had to check for uh, self-induced EMF, it can be defined as when changing or alternating magnetic flux links with uh, a coil. Take note on this part, the alternating magnetic lines of flux cuts across the conductors of the coil inducing an EMF in the, in the coil. So this is what we are required to answer your question when you are asked to define uh, in this case. All right, so that is what we had for the first part uh, on self-induced EMF. Then we've got a uh, mutually induced EMF, still uh, two marks for that. All right, so uh, in this case, this time, we are given this as the ability of one coil or a circuit to induce an EMF in another coil. Take note, this time we are inducing to another coil due to a changing magnetic flux in the first coil. So that is what we have for mutually uh, in inductive EMF. That is uh, when we are dealing with two uh, coils, in this case one coil is affecting another one in terms of what the EMF that is being induced. All right, so that is uh, the differences between these two, the self-induced EMF and the mutually induced EMF. On 1.2, we are given uh, an alternating EMF is uh, represented by the following expression. So this is uh, an equation that is actually an equation that we are given in this case that is uh, representing uh an alternating current remember an alternating current that's when we are given uh something of this nature and so forth and so forth depending with the number of cycles that you're given so we are given in this case the uh our expression for the emf which is the voltage as 360 sine uh 1130 comma 973 to uh 73 t uh v in this case so the t is representing our time so take note, this is supposed to be in a format uh, like this, where we are given our V as equivalent to A. Uh, this part is the amplitude in this case. So I'm just going to write it as A representing the amplitude. Then we have got a sine omega T like this. So this A is the maximum value, which is representing this 360 uh, volts in this case. So, which means we have the maximum voltage. Let me try to use this one, okay? So, we have got the maximum voltage, which is the maximum EMF in this case of 360, 360 volts. Then this omega, this one, the omega is equivalent to 2 pi F. So, it simply means this is 2 pi F T like this, okay, with this T, but this omega alone is 2 pi F, all right. So this can help us to attempt uh, any question once we have this knowledge to say this is representing the amplitude, that is the amplitude or the maximum or the maximum value, all right. Then this part is your omega, this part here is your Omega in this case, uh, so up to up to this part here, not up to T, but this one, up to this point. T is another part. This part is your omega, which is equal to 2 pi F. So the first part of the question, we are asked to determine the following, the frequency of this EMF, which means you need to calculate F. So since we understand that omega is equal to 2 pi F, which means we can take advantage of that okay so 1.21 since omega is equal to 2 pi f in this case our omega is this value that we are given which is 1130 comma 973 which is equal to 2 pi f so we can calculate the frequency in this case 
by dividing by two pi. Since we are multiplying by two pi, so we can multiply, we can divide by two pi both sides so that we can have our frequency. So the frequency in this case is going to be, we are going to remain with 179, comma, nine 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 and nine and nine, 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 nine and so on and so on so this can uh if we're at the nine is going to be a zero and zero so this one will change to 180 so our frequency is going to be 180 hertz remember frequency is measured in hertz so it's going to be hz on your final answer all right so that is uh how we can have our frequency from the omega that we are given then the other part is the rms value of the emf that is vrms so remember that we have the maximum uh voltage in this case so uh in this case 1.22 vrms that is uh the rms e emf so that is vrms is equal to uh zero comma so this is zero comma seven zero uh seven zero seven times the maximum voltage which is the maximum emf which is uh, we have the maximum emf so this is actually taken from the actual formula is supposed to be like this this is supposed to be our actual formula v r m s is equivalent to the square root of 2 over 2 times v max so this is the approximated value of the square root of 2 over 2 which is 0 0.7 uh 0 0.7 like that so now we can multiply because we have this value so our v r m s is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.707 times the maximum value for the EMF, which is 360. So we can obtain our VRMS in this case, which is going to be uh, 254,52. Uh, yes, if you multiply properly, this is going to be 254,52. Okay, so that is what we had uh, in this part. Then we move on to the other part of the question, which is 1.23 to calculate the form factor from this information that we have okay let's see if the formula first for form factor also these formulas you are given in your uh formula sheet so all you need is to use your formulas uh properly if you are to check the form factor is equivalent to that is the rms value over the average value so i want you to take note this part is going to be the rms value over the average that is the average value in this case so we are to, we are referring to voltage which is the emf we are referring to the emf in this case so that means the rms value is going to be this rms for the voltage for the emf so in this case we are going to use uh let's just say which is equal to v r m s so this is v r m s over the average value which is in terms of the voltage so we are going to use v average in this case which we do not have from this information we have uh v rms this one we calculated but we do not have the average voltage where uh are we going to obtain the average voltage where are we going to have this okay so from this information from the maximum value remember that the average voltage is equal to all right so let's just calculate uh that's here we are going to use this formula uh v average is equal to 0 0.637 which is also in your formula sheet okay times the maximum uh emf which is the maximum voltage which is the one that we are given before of 360 volts so we're going to use 360 in this case all right so that's it we can have our average value in this case which is 0 0.637 times uh 360 degrees 360 volts just like the previous part all right so in this case we are going to obtain 229 comma 32 volts all right so we have the average value in this case so that means we can determine our form factor in this case which can be represented by kf what for the uh, form factor so our form factor uh is going to be equal to the vrms 
which is in this one we, that we got in this part on this one, part A, which is our VRMS. So we are going to substitute this value. That is 254,52 volts in this case over the average value, which is the average voltage, the one that we got now, which is 229,32. So this is going to give us the form factor in this case. So uh, in this case, we are going to obtain something like one comma zero nine eight nine zero and so on. So if you round off to three decimal places, as per instruction of the question paper, depending with the instruction that is given, it's going to be nine nine. This nine is going to change eight into nine. That's one two three. So the nine is going to change uh eight into nine. So it's going to be one comma uh zero nine nine is our uh form factor in this case all right so that's what we actually had in this case so you see if you had to check guys it's all about the formulas and you have the formulas in your formula sheet everything is given so you need to manipulate the formula uh to find whatever that you're given uh sometimes you are given like what we saw on the form factor where you have to calculate another part that is on your formula. Like in this case, we have our form factor being equal to the RMS value over the average value, but we do not have the average value for the voltage. So for the EMF, so that is the one that you have to calculate from the maximum value. We multiply by 0, uh, 0,637, which is also there in your formula sheet. So that is what we have. Then we can calculate whatever that we are given as long we are using our formulas properly so that is what is needed so that's it for now guys for Amazon African Motives till we meet again